Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 28. Let's meet the National Football Conference champion, Dallas Cowboys. Number 48, Daryl Johnston. At quarterback from UCLA, number 8, Troy Aikman. And the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, Jimmy Johnston. Thank you. 
Center Chorus, conducted by David Morrow. Our featured performer is seven-time Grammy Award winner, Natalie Cole. for the coin toss ceremony. Coming to midfield are Dallas captains Eddie Murray, Bill Bates, Jim Jeffcoat, Ken Norton, Kevin Gogan, and Michael Irvin. Representing Buffalo are captains Jim Kelly, Kent Hall, Andre Reed, Daryl Talley, 
Mark Kelko, and Steve Pastor. The referee for today's game is Bob McElwee. Joining them on the anniversary of the New York Jets win over Baltimore in Super Bowl III is Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath. Dallas, you are the visiting team. You have the choice. Who's going to call a toss? Captain Bates. Gentlemen, this is the commemorative point. This is a tail. That's a head. Over here, gentlemen. That's the tail. And there's the head. Captain Bates, please call. Please call it while it's in the air. Joe, would you please toss the coin? It is a You can hear Bill Bates, one of the captains of the Cowboys. We want the ball, so they'll be on offense. And it's interesting that Steve Tasker, the special teams Pro Bowl star of the Buffalo Bills, has told us before, I hope we lose the toss every third he is 89 because I want to go down under that kickoff and get the first hit of the game. And how about Joe Willie Namath, now 50 years young, in the memories it stirs of the ultimate upset in Super Bowl history, Super Bowl III. And uh, for the fans around the country rooting, there's Namath. And uh, he represents what all of the AFC fans hope might happen today, and it would be another major upset should Buffalo defeat Dallas. The two coaches, Marv Levy, the dean of NFL coaches, he is 65. Philosophical, quotes authors, presidents, prime ministers to get his football team up. A true administrator. And on the other side of the field, Jimmy Johnson emotional. He treats each player differently. He'll guarantee victory. He'll take chances. He even says, you're taking a chance about me. He'll take uh, those chances to the field as well. Not with that man, 22 Emmett Smith, who did not play the first two games of the season for the Cowboys. They lost both, holding out on a contract issue. But Emmett Smith playing in only 14, plus losing a game with injury, led the league for the third consecutive year in rushing. And Thurman Thomas led the AFC in total yards. He had led the NFL in total scrimmage yards four years previous. 85, and we're underway Super Bowl 28. A high spinner to the two. Williams, a rookie from Miami. Has a hole on the sidelines at the 40. Christie can't get him and out of bounds at midfield. Kurt Schultz saved a touchdown and Dallas comes out running. And everywhere you look on this Dallas football team is speed. Steve Tasker missed Williams there. Would have been a great play, but again, another young man who just displays the speed. And here's Tasker watching go by. Bam. Missed. He didn't adjust for the speed of Kevin Williams. Just outside the 47. Fake to Smith. Aikman down the middle, wide open, Michael Irvin. And Irvin has a first down at the Buffalo 28. One at the 28. Tight end over check in motion. Aikman again to throw. Over the middle, to Novacek inside the 25-yard line. A gain of about five. Cornelius Biscuit Bennett. In a short six. Kevin Williams in motion. Harper's uncovered. Incomplete at the 19-yard line intended for Kevin Williams. And so the Dallas Cowboys, after the long kickoff return by Williams, that's Mickey Washington, the relative of little Joe Washington, a star in this league for so many years. And already picked up by the Cowboys before game three this year. Novacek holds. Dallas, it's long enough. And the Cowboys lead three to nothing. Capitalizing on Williams' long kickoff return to open the game. Huge game. Second and nine, Kelly out of the shotgun. Good protection, good coverage. And it's Reed, he's drilled by James Washington. But Reed holds on near a first down. Home an odd defense, but it's worked well for Dallas. 
And second down into the flat for Thomas. And Thomas breaks open. 50, 45, and Everett gets him out of bounds at the Dallas 39. Quickest and the great hitters for this side. Third down, seven. Kelly to the sideline. Drop by Bill Brooks, who had a first down at the 25, covered by Kevin Smith. Will they go for the long field goal? Yes, Steve Christie will try one. It'll be over 50. Again, look at the quickness. Look, look at those Dallas cornerbacks. On its way. Super Bowl 28 tied at three. Back in their opening drive as Aikman sets him at his 20. And Emmett Smith gets a second chance and they're there to surround him. A gain of only two and Bruce Smith, number 78. Five times a pro bowler in many field, the top defensive player in the NFL made another stop. Bruce Smith has several different gears on 2 and a 71. Look at the arm strength, just pushing and shoving a 305-yard offensive tackle. And again, Cornelius Bennett inside, playing that. Kelly from the 41. Ooh, a little shovel pass to Thomas, and he fumbles the ball. And the flag is down. It would appear Dallas has it. Did he? I'm going to just... call it an incomplete yeah. pass. I'm... Danger written all over it from the start. Throws it behind him as he's spinning. Yeah, he does have control of it. Washington 37 is the man with the contact. Woodson 28 with the recovery. And Ken Norton, yes. Dallas ball. And, and the throw underneath to Smith, and he has a first down at the 39-yard line. Patton again with a tackle. Emmett, who not only led the league in rushing, but fought... 57 passes as well this past year. And the field. Fake to Smith. Aikman guns wide open as Harper. And he's caught from behind and tackled at the 15. Gerald Talley and Mark Kelso. And the Cowboys challenge. High jumper, so you throw the ball up uh, over the shorter backs, and he has an advantage. Here's Kevin Williams on a reverse. He's got five. He's got six inside the 10-yard line before Mickey Washington can make the stop. It's a play that Jimmy Johnson likes to run uh, at least once a game. Williams on that reverse. Third and five. Smith. Stop. At the seven. And the Bills have done a good job of defensing Emmett Smith here in the opening quarter. Murray blasts it through. Dallas six. Buffalo three, Thurman Thomas's fumble, not a touchdown, it's his fault. He seems happy it resulted in only a three for the Cowboys. Any defensive line I have ever seen in the NFL. Second and nine, Kelly to the side, to Brooks, that'll be good for only four or five as they push him back. Good charge from Kevin Smith on the left corner. Smith is only 23 and regarded as one of the uh, top young cornerbacks in the league. Kelly, okay, why don't the coaches tell the player what play? And third down, and it's the tight end Metzelars with a first down catch at the 34. Metzelars, who played at Little Wabash College, he was a great basketball player, led the Bills with 68 catches this year. And I hurry up, trying to wear down this Dallas defense as best they can. Second down and six. Kelly protected well. Watch out here in the corner, Andre Reedus. James Washington came up. There's one of those moments where Washington was hesitant, saying, if I really go for it, maybe I've got a touchdown on the interception. And then thought, oh, I better not risk it. It could be six the other way. Of course, Reed, last year in the Super Bowl, eight catches, 152 yards. Bill Roper who went with his Pro Bowl credentials to Indianapolis this year. Kelly, over the middle. Brooks oh. drops another. So Bill Brooks has dropped two in this first quarter and that denies the first down at the dallas 45 15 as chris moore georgia born thompson georgia his hometown same as reagan high a wobbler and a flag is down as the ball bounces out of bounds inside the dallas 25 at the 22 and we may have roughing the kicker nick i think it's the five-yard penalty which doesn't guarantee the first down but it's fourth and four or three, so they're going to get a first down. Running into the kicker. Five-yard penalty. First down.
ball between the tackles. Kelly the BB, his first catch, and it'll be a first down at the Dallas 43. Kelly changing his play, and the left tackle Fina looks off to here. And Whoop. Thomas has to eat it. It's coming through as veteran Jim Jetco from Arizona State in his 11th year with the Cowboys, one of the few that go back to the Landry days. Lost in the play. Kelly down the middle has Andre Reed at the 34, just shy of a first down. James Washington makes another hit, and that is the end of the first quarter of Super Bowl 28. Dallas leading Buffalo by a field goal. Okay. 11th play of this drive for James Edward Kelly. Kenneth Davis breaks a tackle and fights Whoa. close to the 32-yard line. And if he's to the 32, it's a first down. Kelly to the sidelines. And it's BB at the 25. And no huddle on second and three. It's Kenneth Davis, and he's inside the 20 and skips to the 17. Ken Norton gets into the turf. First down, Buffalo. Rest for nearly 400 yards in the season, and Thurman Thomas stumbling to about the 12-yard line. It was Russell Maryland on his way to his first Pro Bowl, down low to trip him up for Dallas. And four changes. No one in the backfield with Kelly. Throws to Beebe. First down the five. It's the three early in the second quarter. It's Thomas. Thomas touchdown. On the field to congratulate the offensive lineman. Watch this first move by Thurman. Leck is right there. 78's got him square in his sights. Thurman just snaps to the outside. And Jim Kelly. And, and that drive should not have continued, but Dave Thomas, 41, the rookie from Tennessee, running into the kicker, that five-yard penalty uh, kept it alive. And Buffer known for their short drives, not a seven-and-a-half-minute effort. Aikman comes out throwing, and down the middle he goes to Irvin, and he's got it at the 40, and Henry Jones tackles him at the 38. Aikman now has only missed on one of his seven pass attempts. And it's Smith with a big hole. And he's in the Buffalo territory at the 49. First down, 13 yards on Emmett Smith's top run of this Super Bowl. They decline the penalty, third down and five. Aikman down the middle, almost intercepted. Henry Jones was zeroing in on that one. Jones who led Buffalo last year with eight interceptions. He had two this year, and the Bills defense is held. Very high. Copeland, fair catch, but lets it go, and uh, the Cowboys have that one surrounded, and it's down at the one. Matt Vanderbeek, number 91, a 43-yard punt for Jets. Be patient with physical mistakes, but not mental mistakes. There was one on that punt. The throw is to Reed. Breaks the tackle. Nice move up the sideline. And a first down at the 20-yard line. A 19-yard play. But got it. Kelly. Comes over the middle. Complete at the 31-yard line. James Washington with a hit on Bill Brooks. He just doesn't seem to have his legs underneath him. But Kelly with a catch. Makes a lot of shoulder injury. Good return. Thurman mm -hmm. Thomas. Straight ahead across the 41. It'll be close. Darren Smith, a rookie second-round pick out of Miami of Florida, made the stop. Well, Jim Kelly off to a great start. 13 for 16, 127 yards, and he has not thrown an interception in the last 14 quarters plus this to the sidelines to Reed. Tackled immediately at the 48-yard line by Kevin Smith. Good pickup on first down. He is definitely the man in charge calling the play. There's that shovel pass to Thomas that he fumbled on earlier. He hangs on to this one and has a first down at the Dallas 47. Russell Maryland the tackle. But it still doesn't look clean. Nope. Kelly throws. Intercept, no, and drop. Kevin Smith had the pick. He led Dallas 
with six interceptions this year, and it looked as if that was his all the way. On that long scoring drive. Oh, he hits this one up into the fourth deck. First Casker. Kevin Wales lets it go, and it's down at the one-yard line by Casker. No one does it better than Steve Casker. Huh. Jaw on jaw. Second and seven. Aikman, the quickie to Michael Irvin, and a first down across the 15. Mickey Washington drags him down. And you can't. You're not going to stop this kid. Play action on second down, and then they throw to Darrell Johnston, and the Moose, diving for first down yardage, is out to the 27-yard line. Darrell Talley made the tackle. Johnston, who was the pick after Troy Aikman in 1989, they went for Aikman in the first round, then Johnston, Syracuse in the second in the regular season. First down. Cornelius Bennett trailing the play using his speed. Gets him across the 30 at the 32. And a half to go before the intermission. Buffalo leading 10 to 6. Bo Smith gets a piece, but uh, Aikman still delivers the ball out to the 35, and the catch made. Two and a half. And Aikman's going to throw for it. Side steps the pressure, throws to the tight end, first down Novacek at the 40. Man, that was a fist fight. Henry Jones and Jay Novacek, it looked like a high school wrestling match. Defense like a Bronco. Aikman to Smith, looking for a hole, and squirts out to the 44-yard line, and that'll take it to the two-minute warning. In fact, 158 left in the half. Dallas with a ball trailing by four. Second down at the Cowboy 44-yard line. Second and six as Troy Aikman back to throw. Over the middle to the tight end, Novacek. And he uh, breaks the tackle, gets a couple more yards. Miss Mickey Washington with a stop at the 48 first down. Aikman now 11 for 14. 12 for 15, and Emmett Smith to the sideline stops the clock as he's Got another first down for Dallas at the 32. 10 on the play. Quickly. Cowboys trying to reclaim the lead before halftime. Trailing by four. Here comes Smith. And he can't get to Aikman. And intercepted. Nate Odoms, who tied for the league in the NFL, is on the list at the 45 to 50. And he's to the 48. Odoms, who had nine in the regular season with a big pick for Buffalo. It was last year's Super Bowl just before halftime The Simmons Thomas fumbled and Dallas struck for a score to lead 28 10 at halftime. Now Buffalo trying to pay back and it's Thomas breaking tackles inside the 35 and timeout Kelly and Buffalo. Buffalo inside the 35 leading 10 to 6. Wide open is Reed and Andre Reed does not go out of bounds. Tackled at the 12. So the clock runs and Kelly has to spend another timeout. Reed very easily could have jumped out of bounds. Rick, there is a, certainly a rule for football players inside two minutes when you're driving down the field. You do not fight for inches. You try to save seconds. And Andre Reed tries to turn this into more of a play than it really is. A third down and seven from the nine. It's to Thomas. And all the Cowboys waiting for that play. And now they'll let it tick down to three or two seconds and bring in Steve Christie. 28-yard attempt. So the Canadian kickers have been perfect. The end of the half. And a mild surprise at the intermission. The underdog Bills leading the defending champion, Dallas Cowboys. 13 to 6. We're beaten in that one. Here are the first half official statistics. Uh, total yards, uh, Buffalo with a slight edge, and we might also throw in an individual statistic in total yards, passing and running, pass receiving and running. Thurman Thomas had 20 more yards than Emmett Smith, 78 to 58. And then in comes out with his three wide receiver set. And gives to Thurman Thomas, and Thomas straight ahead to the 34-yard line. A good pickup on first down. Casillas and others on the tackle. Good news for Dallas. Kevin Smith is back in the game. They throw to this side to Brooks. Brooks breaks the tackle and has a first down at the 43-yard line. 
James Washington with a stop. Kevin Smith is unable to bring down Brooks on the initial hit. Well, continues to throw underneath. Thomas hit as he takes the hand off. Oh. the ball. And here comes the Cowboys. It's Thomas Everett with one man to beat Tina. And now he's on his way. Don Beebe, the lone bill. Touchdown, Dallas. Personal foul, number 51, on the intercepting team after the score. The touchdown is good. The 15 yards will be assessed on the kickoff. The on left knocks it loose from Thurman Thomas for the fumble return. But there he is right there. He's going to beat Ken Hall around the block and strip the ball away from Thurman Thomas. Then Washington picks it up again from behind the offense. Great job, Leon Lett. Super strength to beat uh, Ken Hall and then Washington with the big return. And we said Dallas has a lot of weapons. We just didn't include their defense. James Washington, who played at UCLA with Troy Aikman and Ken Norton and Thurman Thomas. Two fumbles have led to 10 points. A field goal and now the touchdown. And he tied. Now Thomas, uh, that has to ring up some memories that aren't very pleasant. Third down. And Kelly in trouble, and Jeff Coe brings him down. The first sack of the game for Dallas. Jimmy Jones was there as well. Four and a tie game. He starts from the Dallas 36, and here comes Emmett. Ripping through across the 45, 46, 10 yards in the play. Patton with a tackle. They spot it the 45, second and one, and it's Smith again. Patton and Bruce Smith around his ankles. First down, Dallas. Smith. Wearing number 22, uh, Bob Hayes. Great speedy wide receiver, the Cowboys, his number. His father played semi-pro football at the age of 43. Emmett Sr. was a defensive back, and Emmett recalls how his daddy could hit. Well, that's all he would do is hit. Junior's turn, and he's like a different back in the second half. The tearing tacklers for eight more. Jeff Wright finally gets him down on this drive, and he gets it again. Breaks a tackle. First down. He's to the Buffalo 36-yard line. Four carries for Emmett Smith, and Dallas has gone from their own 36-yard line to the Buffalo 36. And a run with the ball on the other side. Aikman knows the defense zeroing in on Smith. Let's see if he goes to something big on the air. No, stay with 22. Look at the hole. First down, all the way to the 23-yard line with Darrell Pally getting him down. Well, Dick Dallas has found something here. Pounds, you're definitely going to see a big hole when Newton gets up through there. He gets an excellent block on the linebacker, and again, Emmett Smith breaks an arm tackle. There's a hole. 82 yards now for Emmett Smith. Smith again. Inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Darrell Talley went out holding his shoulder after the tackle of Smith on the previous play. Second and six for Aikman. Play action. Smith is after him. It's a screen complete for Darrell Johnston. And the Moose has dropped at the 16-yard line as Mike Lodish makes a good tackle for Buffalo. And who came to the Bills from Atlanta. Emmett breaks a tackle. Ten, five, touchdown! the league's most valuable player this year goes downfield defying the defense with 61 yards on that drive to put him over 100 in the game 102 total he breaks the tackle of Jeff Wright number 91 how many broken tackles did we see Emmett Smith make on that drive alone Dick just that drive he broke a tackle by Bruce Smith. He broke a tackle by Jeff Wright. And we've got an injured Bill down on the field. Bill Hansen, the starting tackle. And Smith 
His emotions driving him even after the touchdown. That was the dangerous drive for the defense to face. I agree with you. This is now the critical drive for the offense to face. 64 on offense and 47 on the fumble return. Kelly, oh my, Kenneth Davis doesn't have a chance. Tony Tolbert played it perfectly on the defensive wing. That play will not work against this defense. I don't care what quarter it's in. Going with Kenneth Davis on this trip. Second and 18. Davis gets a little hole and out to the 36-yard line. Tolbert gets the tackle again. And 11. Davis again, and Davis is close to a first down at the 47. It'll depend on the spot. It's going to be very close. James Washington made the tackle, and that was a quick hitter by uh, Buffalo. Uh, second and 10 for Kelly. Again, good protection to the sideline. Fine catch. Near sideline to Bill Brooks. Brooks, who has those dislocated pinky fingers that almost serve as hooks when he makes catches. Kenneth Davis in the backfield with Kelly. It's Davis. Oh, that won't work. You don't reverse your field against this speedy defense of the Cowboys. They'll run you down. Their linemen are possessive of the speed of running backs and Tolbert and Casillas as Davis tried to make uh, a little too much out of that play. He had Kelly to Davis incomplete. Bill Bates had him covered well, and uh, the Bills drive is stopped. Chris Moore comes in. Underthrown by Jim Kelly. He was pressured somewhat. Emmett Smith uh, going after the hardware. Aikman on second and long. Irvin wide open. It took forever for the defense to close, and Nate Odom finally gets there at the 38. First down. Buffalo trailing 20 to 13 late in the third quarter. Screen to oh. Davis, and he is drilled for a four-yard loss by Kenneth Gant. The man who likes to do the shark dance, uh, Woodson rather, Darren Woodson, 28. 20 left in the third period. 20 to 13, Dallas. Lincoln Coleman dragged down for a loss. Thurman Thomas back in the game, third down and five. Intercepted, James Washington again. And Washington down at the 34-yard line. Dick, you can see it coming. Here's Washington. Here's the primary receiver. He's reading Kelly's eyes. From the moment Jim Kelly sets up, he's looking back at, at Don Beebe. Washington reads it all the way and makes the pick. Washington with a big game. James MacArthur, Washington. He wears 37 because Lester Hayes. A defense to try to defense the play gun of Buffalo, and it worked. First and 15, it's Emmett. Look at him, just driving the tackler, Oliver Barnett. Barnett is 292 pounds. Smith is 209 pounds. You talk about leverage, getting low and driving. Was even last year in the Super Bowl. The second half is when you see the real Emmett Smith. And second down, Aikman. Out of backfield, Smith. Runs right away from Patton. Break the tackle of Goganius. And finally dropped by Jones close to a first down at the 24. 20 to 13. 13 35 left in the fourth quarter. Derek uh, Smith again. And he has nearly five to the 19 before Bruce Smith can make the stop. They'll beat you up where you are. Great play action and Aikman now run out of bounds by Jeff Wright. Goes out at the 22 yard line. That's a sack then for Wright, a two-yard loss. Play for Buffalo, trailing by seven. Dallas third down and eight. Yes. Aikman throwing wide open. It's Harper. Odom gets him out of bounds at the six. First and goal, Dallas. Well, you take the chance up front to try to put pressure on Troy Aikman. Smith again. Stop shy of the one. Jeff Wright down around the ankles. Johnston in motion. It's Smith up the middle to the goal line. Uh, no signal yet. No, he's down right at the goal line. Tally and Henry Jones with a stop. Smith. Touchdown.
by James Washington, setting up the Emmett Smith score on fourth down. Takes all those touchdown balls home back to the Hensus Cola to the uh, the trading shop store. And with 9.50 to go, the pressure again on Buffalo. An interception to set up another. Kelly. Chase from behind. Down at the 30. Didn't like the fact that uh, Washington went after him. But he didn't slide. You go head first, you're a fair game. Absolutely. You're like anyone else. Kelly will scramble and now the slide and the first down at the 35-yard line. Ken Norton there for Dallas. Safety. Thomas. Oh, Jimmy Jones invades the backfield and makes the tackle. Jones had played at Miami of Florida with Cortez Kennedy and Russell Maryland after Jerome Brown graduated. But no one would get worn out. Loss of a yard at third and ten. Uh-oh, down goes Kelly Jones with a sack. short by Moore. Does not take a Buffalo bounce, and Dallas gets the ball near midfield. Carwell Gardner grounds it at the 49. Timeout. And now Aikman, sitting on a two-touchdown lead, gives it to the man, and it's Smith. He's to the 46-yard line. And fumble. Second down five. Barnett and Daryl Talley the tackles shy of the first down. It'll be third and a long two in the locker room as well. Play action by Aikman to the tight end uh, Novacek and another first down. 39, not too greedy, just get enough. Tackle made by Matt Darby, and it was Darby who made the interception in Dallas on the final play of the game that gave Buffalo the win. Third, third down and long for Aikman. Lots of time down the field. He goes to Harper. Harper to the one. Odoms got a piece of him and Kelso. And one has to wonder, Kelso plays so deep, it's almost as if you're playing against a 10-man defense. One for a three-touchdown lead and Emmett Smith. Nope, they don't get it off. Hunker down, uh, full start. If Emmett Smith scores a rushing touchdown. For the snap, number 68, offense. Five yards, Frank first down. Frank Cornish, whose dad played in the Super Bowl with the Bears. So a father-son Super Bowl combination, the first ever. If he should score a rushing touchdown, he also has a Super Bowl record. Surprisingly, in this, the 28th classic, no runner has ever scored three rushing touchdowns. The pick for the Green Bay Packers. Smith, that's that. To the one so he gets the five back it's second and goal do you get the feeling that the dallas sideline knows what the record is have the single game rushing record for touchdowns no he is denied good push by daryl talley henry jones and bruce smith these buffalo bills will not go down quietly here's murray with his third field goal attempt 20 yards and the Dallas Cowboys lead 30 to 13. And the Cowboys, with credit to Jimmy Johnson at halftime, have thrown a 24-0 second half shutout. Part of this team. He said, yes, I have contributed. He played in the uh, conference championship game last week. Also, in about four days education in the Dallas offense started in the Phoenix game. And that was a win with Troy Aikman was hurt up. Tony Kosar will proudly put that ring on his finger. Gatorade bath. <laughs> on third Distracted. down, Kelly. Incomplete and almost intercepted by Chad Hennings. Hennings from the Air Force Academy. Fourth down, Buffalo's last call. Kelly does find Brooks for a first down at the 31. Another punishing tackle by James Washington uh -oh. who would get my vote for the defensive player of the game and Emmett Smith undoubtedly will be the man going to Disneyland. Bruce will go home with another almost. 
Kelly. Just surrounded. Just the uh, hounds and the fox. When Buffalo got to the point where they had to throw, that's exactly what Dallas was looking for. Dick, I have a question for you. You've been around sports for a long time. Wait, wait a minute. You could get two for one oh, here. No. You could get oh, Johnson no. Johnson. Wait a minute. Jimmy might be setting up Jerry here. Well, maybe. No. Is maybe he this, setting him up? This is no. Oh, no. Oh, what an opportunity. They got him. As Kelly throws complete underneath. And it's uh, Bill Brooks for a first down as uh, Buffalo tries to at least get a cosmetic score here at the end of the game. Uh, Newton's holding him. That's a long Oh, he sees it. <laughs> Newton, that's a 10-yard that's a penalty. <laughs> Newton, I saw him holding. No flag. Got away with one. <laughs> Jimmy has caught on, hasn't he? Uh, 38 seconds to go. And for Buffalo, trailing 30 to 13. Kelly, no timeout. First sack of the game, and it's Tony Tolbert who gets it. He's from uh, University of Texas, El Paso. Who misses it? Oh, uh, Emmett gets it. Well, this has become uh, a deja vu with Emmett Smith. He's the, he's the one man who <laughs> anything he wants to coach Jones. Rookie. Not close with 10 seconds to go, and uh, Buffalo now perhaps with two plays remaining. No, it's down to fourth down, only one. Unless they get a first down. They go to B.B., but B.B.'s going to run out of bounds short of the first down, and Dallas takes over on down. Why did he throw it there? Oh. There are no words. First time that Aikman's gone down in the game, sacked by the press. 30 to 13, Dallas. The Dallas dynasty is real. How many more years for a runner that's only 24 and is the best in his profession? I think he's looking for his buddy Thurman Thomas to console him. We'll have uh, interviews from both sides and uh, all these Super Bowl champion coaches, Mike Ditka and Joe Gibbs, to analyze this uh, second half. Bills led by a touchdown, 13 to 6 at halftime, and that was all they would get as the Dallas Cowboys took control. Yeah, they are. locker room. Here's Jimmy Johnson about to address his team. Apparently Johnson there you see him hugging Troy Aikman, not yet ready to take the microphone, and we don't want to risk asking any questions of Mike Ditka and Joe Gibbs in the meantime, because we don't want to have you miss any of what Johnson has to say. As you know, he tends to be very emotional in these moments, punctuating whatever remarks he makes by declaring, how about them cowboys? And so we'll just stay right here, and we'll have plenty of time to hear Mike and Joe and their analysis of the game in just a moment, and Jim Lampley will have interviews from the Cowboy locker room. O.J. Simpson is with the defeated Buffalo Bills, and he'll talk with Marv Levy, if that's possible, and some of their players, as time allows here on the postgame show as well. The Dallas Cowboys establishing themselves in all likelihood as the team of the 90s. At least they've got a chance to be that. The San Francisco victory in January of 90, followed by the giant win over the Bills, and then your Redskins beating uh, Buffalo the following year. Those were really 80s teams carrying over into the 90s. This is a fresh 90s team, and with the business and football acumen of Jerry Jones in a new era, salary cap free agency, with Jimmy Johnson and with the talent they have, there's no reason to believe they can continue. Well, I have to agree with you right now. I mean, I, I think they're a little bit opportunistic today, but they are an outstanding football team. They're well-coached. 
They were well organized. They put the right people in the puzzle at the right time. They went out and got the type of players they wanted. They incorporated speed, as Jimmy Johnson said. He didn't go for players. He wanted players who could make plays, and they have players who can make plays. They had two players. Leon Lett made a great strip of the ball. The other kid, Washington, picks it up. Runs for the biggest play of the game. Why it happens, I don't know. Could this game have been different had Thurman Thomas not fumbled early in the third well, quarter? I, I definitely think it could, Bob. I think they had the right game plan in the first half. They were they were ball control, taking charge of things, and I think the turnovers. Anytime you turn over, you got it all turned around. In the second half, I think they had a great plan. Today, the emotion swung over with the turnovers. I I, I think that it definitely could have gone the other way. I thought we had a game at halftime. Down to the winners' locker room. Here's Jim Lampley. All right, thank you very much, Bob Costas. We are ready now in the Dallas Cowboys locker room for Commissioner Paul Tagliabue to do the official ceremony of passing along the Lombardi Trophy. A familiar moment already for Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson. Commissioner Tagliabue, all yours. Jerry and Jimmy, your opponent today was an outstanding team, but the Cowboys demonstrated again today that they're well on their way to becoming the team of the 90s, ranking with the great teams in NFL history. Today, the Cowboys are only the fifth team to win two back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the history of the National Football League. I congratulate you, Coach, Jerry as the owner, and all your players. Paul, okay. Paul let me first say that uh, this is possible because uh, a man has worked and given everything in, that he could give, and I'm talking about Jimmy, uh, since we came here. And his spirit and his effort is reflected in the way these players play. Uh, this is a great honor for every fan of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I'm honored to be in the NFL, and it's a privilege. Thank you. Well, Jerry, uh, I, I, I think everybody's kind of gotten a kick out of uh, Jimmy and Jerry and, and thinking that we were at each other's throats. Uh, when you win these kind of things, uh, the only thing you're going to do at each other's throat is hug it. And, uh, and, and let me just say this. You know, everybody in this room knows this has been a, an extremely, extremely difficult year. Uh, to uh, overcome all the injuries that the guys have overcome, uh, all the things that happened with this football team, for us to come back and win it again, uh, I tell you, my hat's off to every one of these players and coaches, because y'all y'all did a fantastic job. You just, you were not going to come up short of winning the Super Bowl. All right, congratulations, gentlemen. A couple of questions right now while you get used to keeping the trophy for another year. Uh, Jimmy, 13-6 down at halftime. Buffalo seemed to control the first half their way. Millions will want to know, what did you say to these players at halftime? Well, it really wasn't that big a thing. We made some mistakes the first half. You know, there are two outstanding football teams out there on the field. Buffalo's got a great football team, or else they wouldn't be here. And, and we made some mistakes. We got a penalty on the third down and one that kept us from moving the football. We, we ran into their punter. It allowed them to go and get seven points. And we threw the interception. We made mistakes. Uh, and, and they had a couple, but not as many as we did. Second half, they made more mistakes than we made. The psychological swing when Thomas fumbled and James Washington carried it back for a TD. Well, that was large. I mean, you know, the thing we have tried to do in putting this football team together is in every position, we try to get playmakers, guys that can make plays. And we've got playmakers as backups. We've got playmakers throughout the roster. And if you give those guys an opportunity, they'll make the plays to win ball games. And you just got to be sound. We weren't real fancy on either side of the ball. Yeah, and, and that's our game. You talk to any coach in the league, and they say, hey, they're not a real fancy football team. They're really very simple. But if you put players out there that can make plays, uh, it allows you to win a lot of games. A week ago, you established Emmett Smith against the 49ers in the first quarter. This time, third quarter, first offensive drive, seven carries, 61 yards. Well, he's a great player, and, and we've got a bunch of great players. Troy Aikman, you know, Michael Irvin, it, it, we've got some outstanding great players. And, and that's what I told Emmett when we went for it on the fourth down on the goal line, rather than take the field goal, I said, hey, I believe in you, and I knew you were going to put it in the end zone. That's why we went for it on fourth down. You joined Shula, Lombardi, and Noel as the only four coaches to win this game back-to-back. -back. Well, and I, that's in good company, and thanks to Jerry and, and, and allowing me to do some things that I do, and... And thanks to these players, uh, we've won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. All right, Jerry, we'll have a question for you in just a moment. But right now, if you gentlemen will put on the headsets and get somebody to hold this trophy for just a second, we are about to have one of the most momentous Arkansas Razorback telephonic reunions of all time as the nation's number one football fan gets ready to talk to fellow Arkansans, Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson. Uh, can you hear us in the White House? 
I can, Jimmy. Jerry and Jimmy, can you hear me? Very well, Mr. President. Congratulations. You had a great, great day today. I tell you, you played a good football team, and they played a brilliant first half, and you just came back and showed the enormous character and strength and determination. And I think the country in some ways is uh, even more impressed with this Super Bowl victory than the last one. And I know you're proud of your team, and I know you're happy tonight, and you deserve to be. Well, Mr. President, you showed us how to come back. Uh, about a year ago, and uh, we're proud to be a part of that, and this team has prepared itself so they can have some adversity, and we've had a little bit of it, but boy, are we thrilled to be world champions two years in a row. Uh, Mr. President, you know the two of us uh, fairly well, Jerry, a lot better than you know me, but I, I think if you can kind of look at every one of these football players and assistant coaches, every one of them, they have the same drive that what we have. Well, I was really proud of you, and you know, I can relate to that getting down and coming back, and you didn't quit, and at halftime, we were all talking up here, and uh, I said, you know, they still look pretty strong, <laughs> tackle to tackle, and got all that talent, and uh, you showed a lot of heart tonight, and uh, I think America is proud for you to win tonight. Even the Buffalo Bill fans must know that you showed something really extraordinary, and I think you can be very, very proud of yourselves, and I, I want you to tell the players uh, congratulations, and you may not feel like making a second trip back to the White House, but we'd sure be glad to see you if you want to come. <laughs> right now, I'm going on a boat, and I'm going to do some scuba diving and laying back and relaxing for a day or two. Now, that's, do that. that's Jimmy. I'll see you at the White House. <laughs> come on, Jerry. That's I'll see you tonight. All right. Thank you very much, President Clinton. Before we go away, congratulations on becoming the second NFC franchise, along with the 49ers, to win four Super Bowls. Congratulations, Jerry. Thank you. It's a thrill, and what's really a thrill is that the Cowboys won two Super Bowls in the 70s time and then have turned around here and won two more in the 90s. And uh, we're thrilled about that, and that tradition had a lot to do with it. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much again for your time. Go enjoy the celebration. We will be back to talk to Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, James Washington, and others here in the Cowboy locker room when this post-game celebration for Super Bowl 28 continues. We bring you back to the Cowboy locker room with the... Most valuable player of Super Bowl 28, Emmett Smith. You won a close vote, incidentally, with your teammate James Washington for the MVP and get a clean sweep MVP for the season and in the Super Bowl. Well, that's a great feeling to be back here and uh, for us to go out and under circumstances that we've been under all year to uh, rise to the challenge and be back in the Super Bowl and to go out uh, at halftime, go down at halftime, down to Buffalo, a great Buffalo team, and to, to take on the challenge in the third quarter with James Washington leading the way with the interceptions and the touchdowns. Uh, I mean, it's just a great effort by everybody. We're going to show two touchdown runs while we talk about this next question. Your numbers in the first half weren't bad, Emmett, but it appeared you hadn't yet really had an impact on the game. Were you at all worried that that wasn't going to materialize today? Well, at, at start, I, I didn't know whether or not I was going to be in the offense or not because uh, we was down to Buffalo, and I figured we was going to try to pass the ball to get back in it. Uh, at halftime, I came to North, and uh, we they came up with some plays that we were going to run in the second half. Uh, and every last play they, they called basically worked, and I was happy that they got, got the ball in my hand. Ran the counter about five straight times in that one drive to start the second half, and they never stopped it. If it's working, don't throw it out. Just make it, just run it to the, to the defense, stop it. Thurman Thomas is a friend of yours. His fumble had a huge impact on the game, and now he has been on the losing team in four Super Bowls. Do you have sympathy for him? Yes, I do, because Thurman is a great player, and they all have great players over there. And they definitely deserve to win one. And uh, I'm just glad that he didn't win it against us. Hopefully, uh, they'll win it against somebody else, not the Cowboys. All right. Thanks very much, Emmett. Thanks. Congratulations again. Let's get Troy Aikman in here. Troy, come on over. MVP of last year's Super Bowl and winner for the second consecutive year. Troy, I'll ask you the same question I asked Emmett. Interception at the end of the first half. Again, your offense hadn't really had that big an impact on the game. Were you worried at halftime? Well, we were a little bit concerned, yeah, there's no question about it. They did a nice job of mixing things up on us there in the first half and kept us off balance, and we weren't really able to get into a rhythm. And, you know, the interception, they converted that into a field goal to extend their lead. And at, at halftime, we just tried to tell ourselves, hey, just hang in there. And, and uh, I felt the biggest play in the game was obviously uh, James Washington's return of the fumble to put us right back in the game, and then we could stick within our plans. We got the running game going with Emmett there on the next drive, and, and uh, guys responded, and defense really picked it up. Were you stunned at Buffalo's inability to stop the counterplay over and over in that one drive? Well, you know, our, our philosophy really is we, we feel like we've got a great offensive line up there in front of us. And early on, they were doing a nice job of shutting down our running game. We were, hard, we were having a hard time establishing anything. And then once we started running the counter gaps and things of that nature, we just let our big guys take, 
you know, take their toll on them. And I, I really believe we started to wear them down a little bit. With everything that happened going back to the start of the season, Emmett's holdouts, the two losses, your long contract negotiation, missing games in midseason, the upset on Thanksgiving Day, does it feel like a much more difficult year than its predecessor? Well, it was a much more difficult year this year than it was last year. Last year, we came into the season with no expectations except for what those we placed upon ourselves. This year, we went 0-2, and nobody was concerned about when we were going to win the first game. They all wanted to know how that was going to affect us on going to the Super Bowl. So this team has had to deal with other issues, and I think that the guys have played extremely well. Uh, they've handled the distractions that we've been faced with. And, you know, I, it, it's the first one's awful sweet, and it's hard to beat the feeling on that first one, but I'm awful proud of these guys and the way they've responded. All right. Like all your teammates, you deserve a rest. Congratulations and thanks very much. Troy Aikman of the Dallas Cowboys. When we come back, we'll talk to more players here. We will also talk to the losing coach, Marv Levy of the Buffalo Bills, and who made the play in the third quarter that turned this game around, James Washington, whose return of a Thurman Thomas fumble got the Cowboys back into it, tied it at 13-13, and surely you felt at that moment that you had put your team on its way. Well, I just felt, I mean, me, Mike, uh, Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith, Alvin Harper, and Alfredo, uh, we all get together, and all we talk about is turnovers and touchdowns. And I thought it was my turn. I mean, offense is kind of, you know, dragging a little bit, but I know if we get a ball to the offense enough that they're going to put it in the end zone. You did a marvelous job of following your blockers and picking spots here, James. Well, I used to be a little receiver. I was just hoping that I didn't fumble the ball, you know, like I did last Super Bowl when I got an interception. It was just an opportunity for me to showcase my talent to the world. Everybody was watching, and I hope everybody, you know, can see that I can play. Seeming to rise to the occasion in Super Bowls. A big game and an interception last year, the same thing again this year. It, it was, you know, it was a great opportunity for me to play. You know, Jimmy gave me the nod to start. We played 45. You know, I studied my tail off, you know, learning what, you know, the Buffalo has done towards the first game because I was out. I missed it with a bad knee. And, you know, I, I had some tendencies, and I was jumping them. You lost a relatively close vote with teammate Emmett Smith for the MVP award. Any quarrel? No, I mean, he's my frat brother. You know, Phi Beta Sigma out there, you know, go mob. And if I can lose it to anybody, I mean, he's great. He's consistent. He's, he does it all the time. This is an opportunity that I had to showcase my talent. It doesn't matter. I mean... More things to come to me because people saw what I did. All right, James, congratulations to you and all your teammates. Michael Irvin has arrived up here and will be standing by. We'll hope to get a chance to talk to him. 